They're a mysterious duo, you know, like people listen to them every day and no one even really knows what they look like. I mean, they don't wear helmets or anything, but they, you know, just have pretty forgettable faces. I was the Triple J Breakfast producer for a couple of years and Tom and Alex really brought me into this project as a bit of a hired gun. Um, they could see my potential, you know, they'd seen my previous work. Yo, I'm Ollie Ward, and this is your guide to London. I'm straight out of Brooklyn, so I'm not here to take any shit off the English muffins that won this joint. But the track Ollie done a parody song was a different kettle of fish. I needed to combine smarts, biting parody, and excellent musicianship into one single track to beat Omelette and Finster, the number one breakfast show in Northern Michigan. They challenged us to a parody song battle, and they do them all the time, so they know what they're doing. On the fifth day of Christmas, I got from NRC five dingoes each, your baby. I mean, talk about some groundbreaking musicians. A redneck is going to shoot you. It's feeling nearly possible, I'm telling you. It's Tom and Alex really pushed me creatively, and the inspiration and confidence I got from those two kind of maybe led me to try to put too many superfluous syllables into a single line in the song. Economically, the US used to be able to buy. Oh, sure, I've got some criticism, you know, and most people would say, oh, like, oh, maybe you should have followed the actual structure of the song, and nah. In this case, more is more. And the proof is in the pudding. In the US, it can happen to you. That's why Tom and Alex decided to put my track, Ollie done a parody song on their best of CD, which they're launching this Friday in Woi We, 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 Woi. Woi, 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 Woi,